Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop competition. This time the video is from New Year's Jam uh, Mix and Match Finals. Looks like Jazz Like That is putting this on. This is going to be a Jack and Jill format, which means a leader and a follower are going to get together. It's going to be improvisation. It's going to be good. So let's get right into it. And here we go. All right. I don't know the level of this competition. There's thousands of people everywhere. Just look at that. Looks like it was a fun event. Um... Krakow, Poland. It's a long introduction. Let's see if they love Lindy Hop. I like that rock on that. <clears throat> that was great. Okay, what I like about this is I can tell they know how to dance already. And they were actually trying risks. They were they were taking risks and trying different things. <clears throat> Man, this band is actually playing a really good rendition of this song. Yeah, nice footwork. Okay, whoever gets that trumpet solo tends to have a lot of advantage. It just sounds great. Man, this band is on it. Okay, I, I guess that was it. Let's see. Uh... All right, we're speeding it up now.
All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> that horn player. That was a hard transition to hear. Oh. Oh, they even did the transition. Great job. All right, guys. This is an interesting competition. Um, and I had to put my judge filter on from two different perspectives. I could clearly see once this came on within the first 20 seconds that there was a real disparity between the levels of the dancers. And so, of course, I have to put on my critical analysis to see who could at least do the basic fundamental things in Lindy Hop that are objective. Aside from that, I would have to switch over into another mindset of judging, which is what did I like? Um, who took risk? Who was different? Um, how was the timing? Things of that nature. And I have two winners for me. I have a craftsmanship winner. But I also have an artist winner. And pretty much, if I was judging this with those two decisions to make as the main core things, my analysis might be different. I might have two separate first place winners. But right now I have two couples. The first couple for me that won for craftsmanship was the leader and the follower who were both wearing white. He had a white shirt on, she had a white shirt on, and like a green band. Um... What I loved about their dancing is it appeared from what it looked like that they understood basic call and response. 
The leader would call, the follower would respond, and they looked like one body sharing energy at two different points. They understood the basic fundamentals of those jazz movements that they were doing. They could do them with clarity. And because of that, at least they would receive third place in the traditional Jack and Jills that I judge. At minimum, they would be third place because of that specific quality. Now in this competition, because everyone did not have the same level of expertise when it came to the issue of control, they, for me, were first place on the control part. So congratulations on whoever they are. They, in my mind, they won first place. I believe what they displayed is the starting point for every dancer who gets into Lindy Hop. You've got to learn how it works, and then you've got to be able to perfect that in some way so that when you show people, they could say, oh, okay, good. I can identify those moves, and I could see them uh, doing it in a way where both leader and follower are in control of their roles without impacting the others in a negative way. So congratulations to those two dancers. <clears throat> now, my other first place winner, this is an interesting one because I was also looking for the, the couple that had control but were, was, were doing something different. They weren't just doing the basic moves. There's something that's more valuable to me when you can take the basic moves and add your personality on top that doesn't undermine the basic moves, right? We have a format. There are basic precedents that have been set. We cannot undermine that. Who do we think we are? And when we do that, you can tell it in the dancing. It doesn't look right, it looks forced, or it doesn't look 100% genuine. And this couple, they they showed me that they understood the fundamentals, but they were actually just taking risks and trying different things. This leader had a uh, brown hat on and the follower had a green dress on. I, I noticed that they were trying different things with their styling, with the rhythm, and uh, with the timing. Some of those things worked out where it looked appealing to the eye and uh, more often than not, some of the times it just looked a little sloppy. And in my, my mind, they would have gotten second place in the overall competition just because the execution of what they were doing wasn't as polished as the other couple who just understood the craftsmanship aspect of it. They didn't do a whole lot of fancy things. They just did the fundamentals well. So as much as I would hate to give the other couple first place, they really did in my mind. They got first place on the craftsmanship part and in a way, they edge out the first place couple for me that were more of the artist. And that's a shame. But the couple with the hat and the green dress, they were first for taking risks and being different and uh, coming up with different ways to do different things. And I like that. That's the realm that I live in in Lindy Hop. It's coming up with new ideas and seeing if I can lead them on someone who doesn't know the move. Right, That is just so much fun for me. I can't get enough of doing that and sharing it with uh, my online community. But aside from that, um, the couple with the hat and the green dress, as much as it hurts me to say, they could have done better. They could have executed it better. And I give the blame of that to the leader because he was setting up some things and would not allow the follower to, to follow through with the idea. He would interrupt the idea, maybe intentionally to do something else, but because it was not executed well the whole time, it looked like he was interrupting something that she was going to do. And the interruption sometimes didn't seem intentional. It looked like it was an accident. And that part is the, the aspect of artistry that a lot of people suffer from. It's because they have a good idea, but sometimes they can't actually make it work and make it happen in, in swing time with a real partner. So props to them for being able to be different and props to the other couple for being able to be familiar and execute things well. So what do you guys think? Who do you think should have won this New Year's Eve jam? This is kind of a late post. Like it's January 14th. People are paying their credit card payments for all those Christmas presents. People are kind of depressed in January. And this is just now getting posted. Anyway, <clears throat> I thought it was fun to watch every one of those dancers that were willing to get out there. I give you a huge shout out because it's terrifying to get out there your very first time. If it was your first time, 
to swing dance in front of a group of people. You got spotlights on you. You have the nerd versus jitters. You have all of those external things that might interrupt some of the ideas that you have inside of you that you want to see happen with your partner in front of an audience. So I applaud you for going out there and being courageous, even though you had those nervous jitters. So what do you guys think about this competition? Let me know what you thought in the comment section. Please be civil. If you have good ideas, great. If you have ideas that are just, you know, contrary to what I thought, that's fine too. We encourage different opinions. The idea is, is don't bring me with some circular reasoning. Make it logical, make sense, and at least I might respect it then, all right? So if you guys are wanting to learn how to do this and you haven't, check out some of my free courses below. You will learn uh, just some of the creative ideas that I have that I come up with. I post new stuff all the time, every single week, and I uh, hope it's a real encouragement for you dancers out there um, who struggle with just creativity, right? Sometimes it's hard for some people. Others of you who want to understand the difference between what's objective and what's subjective, then I would encourage you to check out my fundamentals membership. I spent thousands of hours, over 10,000 hours, trying to figure out a formula so that I could share it with people who didn't speak my language. I had to get an interpreter when I taught Lindy Hop, and it was usually someone in class, to interpret what I was talking about. But I realized within my first couple of years of teaching that the more I said, the more ineffective I was becoming because the ideas were too complicated for people to convert. And so I was able to dumb things down in such a way to figure out those most basic principles that are part of every person's style of Lindy Hop so that anybody can interpret that. So if that's you, I encourage you to check that out. Anyway. Let me know what you thought about this competition in the comment section. I'm super excited to hear your opinion. If I don't see you in one of my classes online, hopefully I'll get a chance to see your opinion in the comment section of one of my new reaction videos. Take care.